Several people asked if I would make a tutorial on how I got this dragon out of Unreal Engine and the into iClone. So that is absolutely what I am doing today. This is the dragon that I used. This one by Jetty92. He has several. They're very cool. Do not use the one by Booksoited because I could not get that one to work. Another thing to be super careful of is use, engine, use uh, Unreal Engine 5.3, not 5.4. The other issue to be aware of is this dragon comes with two versions, with Spike and No Spike. Choose Spike. I think because it's in the animation, it breaks No Spike in iClone and you can't get the animations on it. The other really important thing is when your export options, your FBX, absolutely make sure that Map to Bone Root is selected. It will not work if you don't. You are saving this as an FBX, by the way. I didn't say that, so make sure it is FBX when you choose your folder and save your file. Now, in Character Creator 4, I'm pretty sure the first time I did this, I dragged and it worked. But when I tried dragging the uh, FBX in, it did not work. So I'm going to recommend that you go to Create, Character, and follow these steps to get your dragon into Character Creator. No, I have not slowed this down, by the way. It is my mouse uh, that didn't want to work. There was something up with Logitech's, um, I don't know, it's signal interference and all kinds of... What I am doing right now is I am making sure that the uh, this dragon came in mapped correctly. It should have three UV places, uh, one for eye, one for spike, and one for body. When I did it the first time, he did not have that. Uh, so that is what I am doing by making sure I can actually change the, uh, change the color of the eye. Okay, so we have our dragon in iCloud. He's looking pretty good. Um, one of the nice things that you can do in, when you have him in iCloud, and I just, I'm just going to leave him name root node. I don't care anymore. You can smooth his mesh because this is how he comes in. All right, he comes in and he's cool looking, but he's clearly pretty low res. I think he's 46,000 roughly um, tries. Smoothing his mesh uh, makes him much nicer. And I, I actually like two. Now that makes him big. Don't get me wrong, that makes him big. So um, you need to have a pretty beefy system. Uh, but I think he looks awesome. Okay, we will talk about making him pretty in the next video. Right now we are looking at how to get motions in. So I am back in my um, Unreal Engine 5.3 project here, and I am in Dragon 17 Animations. All right, you grab any one of these, double click it. Um, I'm, I'm just doing idles because I've done this a lot because of computer issues. You select them, you right click. This is, you need, as far as I know, you have to be in this window for this to work. Select your folder. Now it's asking if I want to overwrite because mine are already there. I will say yes. These are your settings. Okay. The most important one is this one. Map skeletal motion to root. It will not work if you don't do this. Export all. And you can grab all of them at one time if you want all of them. That's fine. I'm just doing these. Here you are in iClone. You want to go to content. You will be in template. You want to go to custom. Well, animation motion okay these will go into this um, external motion folder don't you don't have to make one it will make it itself okay so grab your motions drag them in if it worked you'll get this so it'll it here's your external motion you can remap this but I don't I it's I, it's just a little much for me. Auto generate to perform list, and that is required if you want to use. I think you can still use Motion Director. I don't know how to use that, so I haven't tried, but I'm pretty sure you have to have things in the perform list to use it. I leave it at 60 frames a second. Convert. There, you find them in your in your folder. Okay. Now I'm on my dragon. I can go to perform. I have them in here multiple times. Okay, because I've done this before and I didn't delete the others. So you have performs. You can also, and this is the way I tend to do it, just drag your motion onto your dragon like that. 
okay? Now, once you have that, the awesome, the most awesome part is now you can customize your animation. So you go down in here, you've got your animation layer, you go up here, edit motion layer. Now, it is not as awesome as if you were a humanoid character. I wish they would let us resize. You can make this longer. You cannot make it wider, even though it acts like you should be able to make it wider. You actually can't. But you can make it longer. All right. Wing zero is this bone in here. I'm going to, and so look, see, I can move that bone and I get a keyframe just like I would in any other, with any other kind of character. I can move back and hit reset to bring it back to where it was. I can go forward and hit reset to bring it back to where it was. So I haven't played with IK constraint. I don't really understand that. So I haven't played with that. Feel free to play with it. And if it does cool things, please let me know <laughs> that I should play with it. So, but you can do that. And now you have an animatable dragon uh, iCloud. I will be making another video on how to make him pretty. And I will be making another video on how to get him back into Unreal, if that is your goal. When those are ready, I will have them linked down in the description. I hope that helps and gives people something to play with.